thanks for joining us. All set to bring you game three of the American League wildcard series. It's the Toronto Blue Jays taking on the Minnesota Twins. Along with Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. A lot going on in this series as we get ready for game three, Siggy. This is as good as it gets in a three-game series, Boo. I mean, one game for all the marbles, and who knows how it's going to play out. But one thing I'm sure is we'll see the managers being very proactive. And in a situation like this, where there's no room for error, they're not going to be afraid to use every arm in the bullpen and every warm body off the bench if they have to. Yeah, there's no saving something for tomorrow in this type of situation. Got to put it all out there on the table. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. So just about set now. Today's starting pitcher, Joe Ryan. Well, this guy's got sort of a tweener, not quite a slider velocity and not as slow as a curve. It's in between, and he adds and subtracts velocity on it, which makes it harder for the hitters to really get that front foot down and have the timing they need to be successful. All right, ready to go here. And now for the Jays, Geraldo Perdomo. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Sizing this one up. Makes the grab one away. Let's take a look at the lineup for the Blue Jays. The sluggers in this lineup might not be too happy about the fact that the wind is blowing in today, Chris. Yeah, and you hear pitchers talk about how good it feels when the wind is at their back. And for hitters, you almost feel like beyond just the pitcher coming at you, you've got this other force coming against you. So important to try to get on top of the ball in terms of hitting line drives, you know, maybe really hard ground balls with a good exit velocity that'll get you a base hit because it's very frustrating. You just hit one on the screws, think it's going to go out of the ballpark, and a guy is camped underneath it in front of the warning track. And that one in the air center field. Buxton makes the catch. And there's two down. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. That one's in there, going along. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup, and I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope. Yeah, the right-hander deals. One ball, two strikes. Two outs, bases empty. And another ball. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first-pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. Righty to the plate. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Three and two, payoff pitch, and they'll do it again. Ninth pitch of the at bat, due next. And it's way to miss, down on strikes. And it's a three up, three down inning. One, two, three, go the Blue Jays. And now the Twins will go to work on offense. We've got no score. You're watching the American League Wild Card Series on the show. Back at Target Field, 
And on the mound in this one, you say Kikuchi. Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. Bottom of the first, and now it's the switch hitting second baseman, Willie Castro. And a pitch. Kikuchi, a former All-Star. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a curve, and he works in a changeup. And the pitch. Fouled off. He was late. The pitch. In there at the knees. Just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there, and I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a called ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. And that one fouled off. One out, base is empty. On the ground right side. Biggio sends it to first. That takes care of Correa. And now we take a peek at the Twins lineup. The sluggers in this lineup might not be too happy about the fact that the wind is blowing in today, Chris. Yeah, and you hear pitchers talk about how good it feels when the wind is at their back. And for hitters, you almost feel like beyond just the pitcher coming at you, you've got this other force coming against you. So important to try to get on top of the ball in terms of hitting line drives, you know, maybe really hard ground balls with a good exit velocity that'll get you a base hit because it's very frustrating. You just hit one on the screws, think it's going to go out of the ballpark, and an outfielder is camped underneath it in front of the warning track. One Next ball. offering way Two upstairs. Strength. And he deals. Missed nope. inside with the curve. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. And that gets down into the gap. The throw into second. And he'll pull into second safely. Pretty much just a textbook double into the gap. And when you can drop one in there between the outfielders, you know you're making the turn at first. Just an excellent swing. So two down. Now the cleanup hitter for Minnesota, Byron Buxton. And oh, the first right pitch misses for ball one. The strategy of winning a ball game, when you can make that pitcher work a little more, expose himself by throwing pitches, that could be the key to winning perhaps later on. So a good job of extending this inning, getting a knock with two outs to bring the number four hole it up. One ball, one strike. Man on second, two down. Fall off foul. Looked like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, you want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. If you're a little late, opposite field not. And a swing and a miss. Out number three. We finished one and eight here in Minneapolis. No score. in Minnesota and Jack Peterson stands in John Peterson Ryan back to work 
That clips the zone, and that is strike one. The drama always heightened in the postseason, and it leads to some really special moments. The pitch. Well, one special postseason memory for me, Boog, was facing Pedro Martinez, game five of the ALDS in Oakland, and man, hit a double off the wall. Great feeling for a guy who would eventually go into the Hall of Fame. Battling here as he fouls it away. And a pitch. That one, one just play. misses. It's a good take. And That's another ball. ball. Two balls, two strikes. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Buxton sizing it up. He's got it. Right away. Danny. Now it's Jansen in. Yeah. And first offering is fouled off. Second inning here, no score. Next pitch is outside. Carl Dixon working the plate in this one. You know, we often hear and talk about umpires being a pitcher's umpire, but Boog Dixon, maybe a little bit more hitter-friendly than most. He's kind of tight on the corners, so we'll see if that comes into play at all in this one. And it's strike two. One ball, two strikes. That one misses. Two and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two outs. Base is empty. And next for Toronto, George Springer. And that one clips the corner. Kicks and deals. Fouled off left side. The line of the pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Two down. Nobody on. Fouls it back with two strikes. Chop to third. Zips it to first. That takes care of Springer. That ends the frame. Three up, three down for him there. We go to the bottom of inning number two. No score. Bottom of the second. And now the first baseman, Kyle Farmer. Here comes a pitch. Here's a rocket out to left. Barsha puts it away, and there's one down. It was all it over that fastball right there. I tell you what, if he gets under it just by a fraction of an inch or a little bit more, that's way back. Now batting Max Kepler. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Right through there for a strike. One ball, one strike. And outside, that's outside. Two and one. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. That ball misses. Three. three and one. Three balls, one strike. And there's ball four. 
Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. One gone runner at first. And now it's the switch hitter, Carlos Santana. That's in for a strike. Lifted in the air now the left side. And it stays fair. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Christian Vasquez, the hitter. And that's off the inside edge. 1 and 0. The Twins looking to strike first here in this decisive game three of the wild card series. Right through there for a strike. Swings through that one for strike two. One really Good going strike. after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. That's ball this one in the dirt. Two ball, two Both runners move up on the wild pitch. And the double play is no longer in order. Got to take advantage of this opportunity now because of the wild pitch. They've got two runners in scoring position. Good time for the hitter to lock in, put the ball in play hard somewhere. The Twins with a chance to score first here in game three. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. And now the lefty. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. On the ground to third. Connor Falefa oh. throws the first in time. And Vasquez is gone. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. No nice job good. of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Emmanuel Rodriguez, the next twin up to hit. Keep an eye on this at bat because even though it's early, it could change the outcome of this game. Look for your pitch and attack it. Hot shot to third. Fires over to Guerrero. And that is that. Twin strand a pair. We'll move to the third with no score. Well, here we go. Top of the third scoreless game. Now the left fielder, Dalton Varsho. Wine in the pitch. That's outside. Ball one. Varsho, 27 years old, and he's a former gold glover in the American League. Next offering is in for a strike. Left-hand hitter waits. This is off the inside, and a count two and one. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Starting to go after it. Now we look down to third, and Joe McDonald says he won around. Left-hand batter waits. Still two and two after the foul ball. And here it comes. Wouldn't Can chase that time. Three and two now. Sets him down on strikes. Basketball the letters frozen for strike three. Isaiah Kiner Falefa up to the plate. Ball one there. 
Down, base is empty. Pulls out one foul. The pitch. Swing and a fly ball in the air out towards right center field. And he makes the catch. And that quickly two away. Kevin Biggio up to the plate. Pitch is in for a strike. Going one. That's inside. <laughs> and another ball. One misses, and it's three and two. Top of the third, no score. Outside, and that is ball four. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. Perdomo at the plate with two away, swings through that one. Oh, one for him. Two outs. In the air, out towards right center. Kepler makes the play, and it's out number three. Blue Jays held in check, and we are still scoreless. Bottom of the inning, and here's the Twins leadoff guy, Willie Castro. The pitch. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. One up, one down. The batter number four. Short stop. Now Correa up to him. Grounded out his first time. Fastball for a strike. It's 0 1. That one ripped, but foul. Got him looking, and he did not like the call. Fastball inside just freezes the hitter. I don't think he was ready to pull the trigger. A lot of times hitters are looking away. And that one locked him up. Here's Royce Lewis. Doubled his first time up. And a foul ball. fly ball out towards left field this one's got a chance pulls it in on the warning track so no runs no hits no errors and no one left game three moves on to the fourth we're tied nothing nothing
decisive third game of the wild card round. And now for the Jays, Kevin Kiermeyer. Ryan back to work. For Joe Ryan, the journey is so interesting when you think of a guy who started his college career at Cal State Northridge and then ultimately transferred to a Division II school, Cal State Stanislaus. Foul ball still 0-2. It was out of Cal State Stanislaus that he was a seventh-round pick by the Rays and then eventually got a chance to make his way through the Rays system and then was dealt for Nelson Cruz to the Minnesota Twins. And the righty deals. The punch out there. One gone here. Well, we get the strike out there, and what kind of stood out to me was that they weren't shying away from contact. Every single pitch was in the strike zone, and that tells me they wanted to attack him, and it paid off. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now. Swing and a miss. Oh, and one. Fourth inning underway, no score. One down, base is empty. Out there to center. Buxton calls it in, and there's two away. Now that designated hit. Here's Jack Peterson. He's all for one. Outside corner, there's a strike. All ones the count. All tied up here in the rubber match of this three-game series. Hey. And that is cut on and missed. And it's not a good two. Ahead 0-2 in the count. Sure, you've got four pitches you can work with, but throw something you can command and get this at bat over with as quickly as possible. Fights it off. You'll see another. Started after it. Appeal to third. And no swing, says Joe McDonald. Fouls it off. Still one and two. Two down. Nobody on. Here in the third and final game of the series. There's a swing and a drive. Buxton going back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Defense held a check there. We're midway in the fourth. No score. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom four. Now the Minnesota cleanup hitter, Byron Buxton. The pitch. When you examine oh, Buxton's career trajectory, the thing that really jumps out, the speed and the defense early on. Well, these twins, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches. They're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding that strike zone and beyond, and they just keep eating right out of your hand. Three. Got it by him for the K. 
Well, oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base yeah, yeah. paths. It's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders. Have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Base is empty one away. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. And that's in the dirt. In the air to left down the line. Varsho makes the grab for the second out. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That now front that shoulder way. coming oh, open instead of staying closed. Back. If he does that, Get he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Kepler hey. batting for the second time. And that's strike one. The guy's going this good. He's retired seven in a row. You got to step out of the box, fake bunt, do something to break it up. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Twins retired in short order. And we're still knotted at zero. New inning getting started. And here's the catcher, Danny Jansen. Danny Jansen. The right-hander back to work. Got it started a little too early. Strike one. Well, these Blue Jays showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. They haven't produced a run yet, but the pitch count for the starter is starting to climb, so they're hoping that starts to pay off soon. And a pop-up right side, foul territory. Farmer drifts towards it, and there's one down. And I think they're in a good spot thanks to their pitching, but no one would be shocked if this offense strings the something together to take the lead. And the batter is George Springer. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. Well, Boog, Springer always grades well with his bat. He's been incredibly consistent at the plate in his career. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield, and even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. And now it's Dalton Varsho. Struck out looking at his first at bat. Ryan picks over. It's low and gets away. And there's a foul ball. Right hander kicks deals. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. The throw in, and he's safe. So it's first and third with one down. A couple of singles back to back. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch, just shot it through the infield. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. One down. Here's the third baseman, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. Fly to right. His first time. Off the Breaking ball up. inside. And that is ball one. Kicks and fires. Ground ball left side could be two. Correa to second. And that's two. They made it look 
easy, but it started with a nice speed to the second baseman from the shortstop. Perfect turn, and they're out of this jam. Now here is Carlos Santana. As the lefty gets to work. High in the air, out to right. Springer there makes the catch. And a quick out number one. Up next. Here's Christian Vasquez. He's over one. And that one fouled off. One down, base is empty. Yeah. And a strike on the outside edge. Three. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And there's two away. Oh, there he gets the slider now, in uh, on his hands, and it just it. eats him off. It was hard to get the bat around on a pitch like that in tight. You just feel like you're crowded on the inside part of the plate. You can't get any extension. That's what he definitely should have laid off of. Rodriguez yep, takes out. a ball as he stands in for the second time. Pitch ball misses two. there. And that's ball two. Two balls, no strike. Swing and a miss. Two balls, one strike. And that's off the inside edge. Three and one. Two down, nobody on. And now it's filled up. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. And down on strikes he goes. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Nothing doing here for the Twins. Still no score. Back at target field. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. And now for the Jays, Kevin Biggio. And the right-hander back to work. That catches the corner. Biggio measures six feet, two inches, 200 pounds, and he was a fifth-round pick hey. back in 2016. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Lewis makes the play, and there's one away. The bat, number two. Geraldo. Perdomo. Now here's the leadoff man for the Blue Jays, Geraldo Perdomo. That ball one a little bit high, and yeah, that's ball one. And a pitch. Tied up over the top half of the sixth. Yeah. Next offer in there for a strike. One and two. Man, that's just a nasty splitter. Bottom falls out of it. You don't see a lot of guys throw that these days, but I tell you what, he's got a good one. One down, base is empty. Right side, Farmer. He takes it he's on his down. own. Two up, two down. Now got it. The center field. Here's Kiermaier now. I think when you contemplate him as a player, the first thing you think about is defense and you think about that great arm. I also think about the speed. If he can get on, that's going to give Whoa, one more thing for that pitcher to think about. Fly ball, right field. Kepler under this one. He's got it. 
And that is out number three. So another good inning for him on the mound. Six shutout innings now. And we still have no score. Back in Minnesota, bottom of the six. And now it's going to be Willie Castro. As he turns on the rubber and with that nope, good live arm delivers. Well, these twins just lacking discipline at the plate in this ball game. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating moments. They've been fooled quite a bit today. Here's a 1-1. Tapped on the ground softly to short for Domo. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. The bat number four. Shortstop. Shortstop. Here's Carlos Correa. This one in the air right field. Springer on the move. Balls it in to away. Now got third base. Royce Lewis getting ready to hit one for two. That misses the zone, and that's ball one. Definitely a frustrating day for the offense, but when they look at it, this guy's had his best stuff. With paint in the corners, working on the edges and changing speeds. Just a difficult one you tip your cap. Next offering is in for a strike. That curveball's been a big pitch for him today. He's been able to get ahead in the count oh. with it. He's also been able to use it to put guys away. Two down, nobody on. Here in the bottom of the sixth. Swings through that. Tonight, his slider has been really impressive. I mean, tight spin. Seems like the hitters aren't picking it up out of the hand. Two outs. Popped up. Should have this one. And that ends the inning. Make it six shutout innings for him out there now. No score. And we're back. And here's the first baseman, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. He's a big, strong guy. Can untie this game with one swing. Ryan, back to work. That's oh. off the mark. 1-0. Oh. Count 1-0. Oh. That one drifts inside. The line to kick the pitch. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. And that just misses. The wind of the pitch. It's a leadoff walk, and that's the go-ahead run. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it, but now he has somebody to worry about over at first. And now Jack Peterson. And that's downstairs and outside. You can expect this hitter to be looking for something on a tee. He can get up in the air and untie this ball game. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Left field. Squeezes it. The catch at number nine, Danny Jansen. Danny Jansen to hit here. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. First pitch misses. He really committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets hit hard by a power guy like this. That's a nice miss right there. 
At the belt and fires. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. And a go-ahead run into scoring position. One away. He was all right over, over that one. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. Now a good opportunity to potentially jump ahead in this game here in the later innings. And it'll be George Springer to step to the plate. And fouled off. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, Boog. And this is inside. In the air, right field. That takes care of Springer. Two away. So first and second with two outs. Dalton Varsho, the next to hit. to the right and it's just foul that was close two on two outs popped up to the left into foul ground Lewis sizes this one up brings it in and that's the third out So right-handed slugger at the plate. Chrissy is surprised that the lefty is still in there. Extremely. I mean, you've got arms down in the bullpen, and there's somebody down there that can match up, try to get out of this jam. Late in the game, everyone gets a little tighter, a way to get ahead on a really good hitter right there. That breaking ball is in for a strike, and quickly, it is nothing in two. One away. Big time out leading off the home seven. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a home once you've committed. They try to check the swing, just couldn't do it. Foul ball there. Breaking ball inside, and it's a ball to strike. Seems like the hitters are struggling with their timing today. Kind of caught in between that sharp fastball and the nasty slider. I'd like to see him settle on a consistent pitch. Base is empty one away here in the late stages of game three. On the ground to the left. Knocks it down. Can't get him, though. And the winning run is on. Run around at first with one gone. Max Kepler digs in now. Hit on the ground to the right side. There's one. Double play. What a twin killing to end the inning. 
Still in total command on the mound with seven shutout innings. And we still have no score. the top of the eight now the third baseman Isaiah Kiner Falefa and the pitch that one finds the zone and it's all one man this has been impressive just now getting to 100 pitches as we start this eighth inning he's given them a lot of length and we'll see just how much longer they're going to go Here's the 0-2. And ball. that's down and away. Misses inside. Two and two. Just missed. That's a really good take. Kevin Biggio up next. And the right hander deals. Liner staked at first. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. Kevin Biggio will hit next. Fouled off. He was late. Yeah. Late on that fastball. Man, he is just dialed in right now. Every pitch thrown with so much conviction. He just misses there. I played umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. One down, base is empty. Foul ball still a one and two count. Righty to the plate. Swing and a miss. Him out. And it way out front of the slur. Well, you see him trying to pull that inside pitch right there, and that's not the kind of approach that you want to have. Even if you do get to it, it's going to be very difficult to keep it fair. You're just going to make it a long strike at best. You have to be able to stay within the baseball on the inside of that path to it, and that way, if you're a little quick, the ball gets hit hard somewhere, and it's not foul. Perdomo in the box with two gone, and it takes a look at a called strike. Ball tied up, and we're at the top of the eighth. That one missing inside. And that's in the dirt. Now two balls and a strike. And a foul ball. Two down, nobody on. In the air, left field, down the line, and that is a foul ball. Two, two down. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Not even Three close two. there. Three balls, two strikes. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Liner, base hit. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive and puts the go ahead run on base. Man, that was a pretty good battle to play. And I'll tell you, it feels pretty good as a hitter when you grind out a hit like that. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. 
Marco Baldelli out of the dugout now, and he's going to make a change. Joe Ryan is done. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. So they turn to the veteran pitcher in this spot, Caleb Fieldbar. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pen with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked what opposing teams did that to me. Runner at first with two away. Kevin Kiermeyer now at the plate. Step off, throw to first. And he's back in safely. 0 for 3 with two flyouts and a strikeout. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Two gone. The possible go-ahead run at first. Right through there for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. That one, one not close. Two, one and two to count. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. Target field onto the bottom of the eighth. Now it's the DH, Carlos Santana. The pitch. Oh, that got him. And the go ahead run is on base to lead off the inning. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. You say Kikuchi done for the night, and it's a tie ball game as he heads for the dugout. Back with a new arm after a quick break. On the mound now, Trevor Richards. So a change being made at first base. Entering is the pinch runner, Edouard Julien. And now it's Christian Vasquez. Well, a pretty good speed over there at first base. I think the pitcher's got to slow everything down. Hold the ball a little bit, step off, just try to break the rhythm and timing of a potential base deal. This is off the plate. Ball one. Moving in the bullpen, Tim Mesa up and throwing. With the go-ahead run at first, here the bottom half of the eighth inning. And oh. another ball. We got two balls, one strike. Got the back going too soon at strike two. The two strikes may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Swing and a high fly ball left field. Drops into the glove. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit. And then from there can really settle in. Now here is Emmanuel Rodriguez. on that fastball. Oh, no, come and get me fastball right there. He didn't look ready for the velocity. I think it'd be a mistake to throw him anything off speed right here. Oh, and ball one. The one one. And yeah, there's a the ball. Perfect. One away, tie game. 
Go-ahead run stands at first. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. He's got it. There's two away. Now back. Second base. Back to the top of the lineup. Now it's the second baseman, Willie Castro. That nope. misses the zone. Ball away. If he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Nice changeup. Two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first here in the rubber match of this three-game series. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. The one-two. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. One left for Minnesota. It's the ninth, and we are tied. go to the ninth and now for the Jays Vladimir Guerrero Jr. The first base Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Here comes a pitch. Fastball in for a strike. Long. Some hitters are just more confident they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. is the top part of the zone and that is strike two some movement in the twins bullpen Steven Oker warming up for manager Rocco Baldelli Stama the right hander loosening up as well just oh, missing good. there going to count one and two man oh man I don't know how you take that pitch that's as close as it gets And that one is inside. And he deals. And now the count is full. And another power hitter lurking in the on deck circle. Jock Peterson to bat next. And here's a 3 2. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Well, you know, this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing some good patience in this one. It's the second time he's taken ball four. And next is the designated hitter, Jock Peterson, known for his late inning heroics. Gets the bunt down the right side. Tosses to the pitcher, covering the bag. Now one gone in the ninth. That's a good piece of hitting right there. The job is to move the runner up and give your team a chance to score the go-ahead run. That's exactly what happened. So you better believe your teammates are happy with you after that at bat. Here's the Toronto catcher, Danny Jansen. One for three. And that one fouled off. And a pitch. Fall off foul. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. The pitch. That one, one almost got him. Well, if he's going to do something special right here, it's going to have to happen with two strikes. With the go-ahead run standing at second here at the top of the ninth. 
Fights that one away. Still one and two. Got him swinging for the kill. Had him out front for strike three. Nice work there to get the strike out. And that's a big second out. I'll tell you, this whole crowd will be fired up. They can get out of this and leave that go-ahead run stranded in scoring position. This is a big moment in this game. Here's George Springer. Way inside. That's through there for a strike. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Sizing this one up. And that's the third out. So it's no runs on no hits, no errors, and one left. Two, three, four, set to hit in the bottom of the ninth. No score. Back in Minnesota, bottom of the ninth. And here comes Carlos Correa. And a pitch. Ball no one, no strikes. Toronto's bullpen with some action. Jordan Romano, the closer, is getting loose. The one on. Just missed. And here it comes. And a foul ball. Makes the count two and one. Right-handed reliever. And that one fouled off. The pitch. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. And okay. another ball. Royce Lewis in the on-deck circle. And the righty deals. He walked it. in. And that will keep things going. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Oh, 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 team up with the free pass. Oh, no outs. Runner at first. Here's the third baseman, Royce Lewis. Wouldn't chase that time. Got a good eye there. We don't want to get beat by a fastball in. Uh, he spits on that one. Winning run on base at first, no outs. in and the winning run moves up to second with nobody out going far behind in the count you've got to come into the zone and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like you did right there first and second no outs byron buxton the next twin up to hit just oh. missed lots of anxious fans in the ballpark right now you can feel it Winning run at second, no outs. Here the last half of inning number nine. Nice strike. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. This guy's got good power with one screen. He can win it for him. 
Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. Farmer swings through it for strike one. All one's the count. Two on, one out. And a drive base hit. Around third. In comes the winning run, and the Twins walk it off. So the Minnesota Twins get it done here in game three with the backing of their home fans, and they can celebrate for the night as they shift their sights to the division series. Yeah, congrats to them. These three-game series don't leave a lot of room for error, Boog. It really could have gone either way coming into this game. I think they fed off of this crowd, and those are the types of things you love to see this time of year. And the season comes to an end in the other dugout. Not what they were looking for from their October run, so they'll move into the off season looking to make improvements before next year and a one nothing final score here in this one for chris singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at mlb the show i'm john shambi saying so long the final line for our all game tonight for the big four wins one final five Thank you.